Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This reading is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So let's get into the energy for Aquarius. And then we'll get into the energy of all 12 signs. So Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits, and Guides. Clarity and Guidance for Aquarius, please. Somebody is looking back at past mistakes and they're trying to be patient to move forward. So, you know, I feel like in this case, you know, yes, if they did something that they regret from the past, they want to just, they want to move forward. They, they don't want to keep looking back over their shoulder. So let's get into the energy of all 12 signs around Aquarius, starting with Aries. If you're dealing with a if you're dealing with an Aries, somebody's manifesting an apology or an offer. If you're dealing with a Taurus, somebody is very trapped in their head about making a decision. If you're dealing with a Gemini, there's a tower moment around a two of cups. Let's see what that tower moment is. Because there's jealousy, there's strife, there's jealousy, there's competition around your soulmate. You're dealing with a cancer. Someone's got having some regrets about ending something. If you're dealing with if you're dealing with a Leo, somebody's getting some clarity about you. Leo's getting some clarity about you, Aquarius. If you're dealing with a Virgo, um, in divine timing, something's going to move forward to success. So something that's faded is going to move forward. If you're dealing with a Libra, ooh, I'm getting Libra might be a little toxic or obsessive, possessive, not speaking. Somebody's Somebody is just strategic, not showing emotion, kind of toxic, but not talking. So this person is, um, it's probably a good thing that they're not speaking, using their intuition, keeping their secrets. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, Scorpio is trying to look at something from a different perspective to have a new beginning. They're trying to figure out how to fix something. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, you want to be with somebody, but you're walking away. So Sagittarius wants to be with you, but they're going to walk away. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, there's somebody's trying to be patient to communicate. If you're dealing with another Aquarius, someone wants to speak a truth and end a cycle. So they want to come full circle on something. They want to speak the truth and end a cycle. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, somebody is wanting equal give and take with their emperor. Under the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Wands. So kind of both era, Aquarius's um, energy. One was looking back at past mistakes and wanting to move forward. And the other one is trying to close out a cycle and speak a truth. So I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm getting the energy of Aquarius wants the past to be in the past. They want to close that door. So let's get into the energy for Aquarius and see what is going on. So emotional communication is going to reconcile. It's going to fix something here. And somebody needs strength for a victory. They're holding on. Somebody's holding on tight, right? They're holding on tight to transform something. They're being patient. There's a lot of major arcanas about something new and beginning. Uh, some, there's a new beginning here to work on a situation with the family situation, a 10 of cups. This is somebody's wish fulfillment and a new passionate beginning. Wow. Okay. So Aquarius is all in. There may have been some deception that somebody needs to speak the truth about um, coming in as the king of wands. You have the pre-empress here. Empress. Pre-empress, empress, 
and you have a twin. You have a twin. So I feel like there's pre Empress, Empress, and the 1111 card, which is a foundation. So I feel like this is the Emperor in a lower vibration. He knows he needs to speak a truth about a deception. So let's get into the clarification and see what's going on, Aquarius. Aquarius need to know. What does Aquarius need to know? So reconciling the foundation, the 1111, the, the relationship, right? And emotional communication of let's move forward here. Let's go, let's just keep moving forward here. Needs the strength to speak the truth. A victory with someone from the past, which would be his empress. Holding on to this wish fulfillment. So Aquarius, I feel like you need the courage to speak the truth. And you're holding on to your wish fulfillment, which is your empress, right? And you want to transform your happiness. You just want everything to move forward and be happy. That's what this is. So you're being patient about how you communicate for this new beginning with your soulmate. And working, working, King of Wands, again, you're coming in as a King of Wands, uh, Emperor in a lower vibration, has to do with the family situation and a new passionate beginning, because this is your wish fulfillment. You could walk away from your wish fulfillment. Walking, you know, oh, I feel like this is not a walking away, but walking towards justice. So your wish fulfillment to walk, walk away or, and have justice. This is what makes you happy. <clears throat> I want to say that this is, has to do with the deception. So your wish fulfillment is to walk away and have justice here. You want, you want everything to fall in place with your person. You don't want to deal with anything else. You want to walk forward, right? Um, because you're looking back at past mistakes had to do with a passionate beginning. I feel like there was an affair. So um, the deception and the harsh truth, King of Wands, somebody's watching. Somebody's watching the deception. Someone knows about the deception with an option. They knew about it. And now they want you to come clean, right? Now they want clarity. They just want clarity. And, and I feel like it's this empress pre-empress here in this relationship that wants to know the truth about what happened. There's an emperor. There's an empress. There's a twin flame. There's a heartbreak here. And somebody wants heartbroken, wanting to reconcile and needing strength to do it, right? To have that passionate communication. But he's very trapped in his head about his empress pre-empress and him speaking the truth in something long-term and committed. So he's waited to try to heal the situation. I could go through this whole deck. So <laughs> this is a very cut, cut to the chase, no ifs, ands, or buts. This emperor is, is Aquarius and he is wanting to um, come clean. I feel like about something that happened, I feel like this empress already knows, but wants clarity right? But he's awakened now. Look at this. Awakened. So he's awakened. And I feel like with this, somebody, he, ad, he admires somebody, he admired somebody or he, whoever, I feel like this is the empress admired. And this person was the victim in this. So he's awakened. He's a, he understands something a little better, right? Fifth dimension and free will trying to balance out the situation with his twin flame. Children may be involved in this situation. Passion. Denial. And self-care. So whatever this was, he, somebody was in denial about something. Children were involved. Um, but self-care is just clear your energy field and focus on something before you're acting. And focus focus on yourself before you act. Um, awakened, again, this person, this person, they're longing for a second chance, okay? So I feel like, and protected was under the deck as well. So they're longing for a second chance with their person to fix something. This is all about reconciling and, and coming clean and fixing beauty. They see your beauty. They see the Empress's beauty, finding that beauty. They know that person is their person, right? Home. This is all finding home. This, 
This is about the beauty, the beauty of home and finding, finding that beauty in within yourself, within your family, seeing it for what it is, right? You know this though, because you have spiritual gifts. Somebody wants these answers for their own well-being. So they just want to be able to close out the cycle so that they can heal and have justice to move it forward. Boy, this is a cut and dry reading for Aquarius. So guys, that's all I have for you. If this resonates, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful week.